Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Klaus and welcome to my house. We are continuing with episode 54 and uh, I got some good news for you. We're going to be able to kill two birds with one stone. So I uh, really wanted to do these Gwent quests, but I didn't want to just make a Gwent episode, if that makes sense. Uh, so I ended up looking the uh, dangerous game quest up. And uh, it turns out that it's not too Gwent filled, and uh, we'll end up possibly getting the cards that uh, that we wanted. So we are going to take on this dangerous game. Now, if you don't remember the whole story behind this, uh, Zoltan is pretty much looking for three very rare cards, and um, it's up to us to help him get those cards back. Uh, now the other interesting thing, and I'm just going to keep doing this, uh, it may or may not actually be worth it, is all around this city we have these concerned citizens' sermons laying about, and uh, I'm just going to collect them. If I see them, why not, you know? They're all over the place. Very interesting how they all just kind of started to pop up. I'm wondering if they have uh, any role to play later on down the road. All right, it looks like maybe we're gonna go upstairs. The other thing that's pretty cool about this is, um, I feel like the more we play, the m is this gonna make, make us go downstairs? Oh no. Yeah, the more we play, the more stuff that gets unlocked. Like this was locked before, so we're gonna get to go in finally. Locked. It looks like Zed's inside and in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Uh, okay, well, we all know how good I am at that. Hey, you! Yes, you! You yeah. got water on the brain! Oh, what did I do to you? Is there maybe... This thing? It seems like it's the right, uh, the right move. We'll see if it turns out to be that. Come on. Use it. Use it. Use it. Thank you. If I actually figure this... Oh, man. That, that is some serious trust. Nice. Look at this. We'll, uh, we'll go down the ladder. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Must be Zed. Yeah, that's not looking so great for him, is it? Maybe they're still here. Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Really? Yeah. Well, we handled this one well. Hell yeah. Alright. Well, he's got the Isengrim card, right? I'm not that guy. Isengrim. Oh. I like how he can say two things at one time. They were looking for something. Oh, same deal. Is there... find his ledger. Oh, really? You're gonna, like, give me things, but I can't get them. Okay. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's, uh, upstairs yeah, or something like that. Something. 
Oh, uh, okay. Well, it looks like the only place we could go is up. Where would... I mean, you would think his ledger would be right here, right? That's his ledger. Nope. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Witcher senses, help me. I need help, Witcher senses. Um... Sounds like someone else is walking. Um... Come on, man. I love how I can't... Could it be down here, possibly? I don't think so. I don't think that it would be. I'm so I mean, I guess anything is possible. Yeah, I... I'm, like, convinced it's gotta be... Right here. Huh. There's only so much stuff, only so many places that we can go. Ah, you know what? Maybe it's up on that. Yeah. Could be. There is a very, very slight possibility. Okay, and that possibility has been exhausted. Huh. Oh. It says find it with my Witcher senses. I'm sure there's something that I'm missing here. I mean, this looks like a ledger to me. Maybe... Must be Zed. Yep, okay, that's it. Where could this thing be? I'm trying to look for red. There's red anywhere. They were looking for something. They were, and I'm looking for it now. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, you know what? There is an Ard sign right there. Is it Ard? No, that's, uh, that's just a thing. The thing of all things. I can't read that. Looks imposing. Really? Oh. <laughs> Zed sold cards too. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. All right, let's head back to Zoltan. Wow, I. You think they would have, you know, made that glow in red or something, kind of like they normally do? Slow now. All right, let's get out of here. Now Zoltan is just down the way here at uh, Dandelion's bar, or or it's cabaret now. The Chameleon, which is actually a fairly good name, right? Oh, what's up, Zoltan? I just don't like all these witch hunters around here. Not my favorite people. Zoltan. Hello, Mr. Zoltan. What about those cards? About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Should here. The sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? I don't have them, man. I didn't find them. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. 
Listen, Godzed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entry show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. All right. Uh, who is Caesar Bilson? Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's Club. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Angler's Club, the pride of the Ponta. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Yep, good point. And uh, Ravi, who's that? Ravi? Who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Bog was my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty. <laughs> I can believe that, alone. jeez. Uh, Alright, yeah, let's uh, try and get you those cards. I'm down. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I really want it for myself. I'll try you those cards. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside this townhouse. The gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. Got no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. <laughs> well, good luck to you, Geralt. Good luck to you, too. I'll see you over at that one dude's house. All right, we're going to save. Uh, we need to save. It's important. Uh, particularly because I crashed in that earlier conversation, which means this might be a little bit of a bug. Uh, you may or may not have noticed that, depending on how well I am actually able to edit that video afterwards. Um, and it, it is the reality of this game. Uh, there is going to be a large patch coming, 1.07, which has been rumored for like two weeks now. Uh, and it's going to be a pretty big one. Uh, they've been hyping it a little bit. Uh, they're going to add some other things in there. They're going to get some other stuff ready. Uh, there's a DLC coming out in October. Well, I shouldn't say DLC. It's uh, They're calling it an expansion, which really is what it is, right? DLC is these little things here and there. Um, but they are really expanding the game. They're going to uh, add about, I think, 10 hours of quests um, in October. And then I believe next March or something along those lines, they're going to add about 20 more hours. So it should be really, really interesting to see how that goes. Let's uh, talk to Zoltan. Slow now. Get this Whoa. one going, Mr. Bilzen. He's going down. Ah, uh, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Haven't been to the Sturgeon yet. Yep. Fine, fine. Ravi's not going anywhere. Let's clean out Caesar Bilzen first. Yeah, he was close. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. Certainly keeps the cab there. Uh, what else would be in... Uh, yeah, wouldn't it just be simpler to buy it? Well, we're not going to buy it. That's probably going to be a lot of money. What else is in that cabinet? So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. Mm -hmm. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. Sounds good to me. Shivi! Caesar Belzen! I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's king of the Ponta. Ah, well, see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty handed. Who's he? I'm a witcher. Random. <laughs> well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say Geralt fish? Oh, you better believe it. Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the ponta. You betcha. Yeah. Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in. Oh, hell yeah. Thought we were already so in, but I guess not. Zanders are eager biters. They taste like shite and soapy water. That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's ass is a clarinet. <laughs> Just recently, I took some fresh thyme. And it tasted like thyme-flavored shite. 
Shut up. So, recently, I, I took this time. Get up! Care to chime in? How's Xander taste to you? Oh. Uh, <laughs> a little drunk. Um. Uh. Tastes like shit. Like shit. All right. Grab your rods. We're off to the pawns. Are. Can't let this drivel stand. Not in the old home. Well then. Did you hear Vibo Matilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Yeah, <laughs> cocksuckers lying like always. Haunter Pike aren't so dim witted to go after his rotten peas. Ah, uh, maybe they are. I've beat. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager. Don't know why. Once dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself. <laughs> uh, I'm not so sure. Geralt, what are you and your pals use up in Kaelmore? Drowners. <laughs> Bombs. <laughs> Bombs. How's that? <laughs> well, I've heard many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. <laughs> Geralt, go fetch us another bottle. Alrighty. Right. See the bottom of this one. Uh, maybe I gotta go quick. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing. Well, there's guys over there. Take all those things. Looks like this is. Ah, where? There we go. Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Hell yeah! Door is open. Hmm. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. What's in the drawer? Oh, a triangular key. It's perfectly. Secret door behind the bookcase. Oh hell yeah! Classic. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. A jade figurine. Of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Shame I can't ask Triss about it. Oh hell That's yeah! Oh my God! All the things. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Joachim Devet skull. Holy crap! Pretty grim Joachim curiosity. The 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Portrait of Emperor Amir. Tempera on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. Uh, okay, so where is the. Where's the card? Where's this damn card? Examine. Lots of examines. Ah, there we go. Uh, here's Fringilla. I'll let him know that we found it. Should we interact with this door again? Put it back? Maybe not. We'll just get the hell out. Zoltan, time we were on our way. <sighs> I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We have a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, oh. Just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. 
Grab him. And you two, get lost. Hey, great timing. That's all I gotta say. Um. Oh. Ah, we'll be a nice guy. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the witcher. Well, top tier lads. Haven't they got all day? Oh. Yeah. Don't you dare swing your damn dwarf axe at me. Witcher. Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? You got I high friends in high places. Right. Got a pack. Well, that's kind Good of the way it goes. Then. Farewell. Alrighty, but well, we got away with that one. Uh, you have a soft heart after all, Geralt. Indeed. Oh, by the by. Splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. <laughs> okay. It's time to visit Ra Oh, yeah, I took a look at this. What, what's going on with that? Looked through Caesar's Let's get some jade stuff. And, and? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir, the Joachim de Vet's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger. The rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, oh shit. Disgusting fellow. I think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. No. I took other things, uh, though. If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Triss is no longer around. Oh, well, maybe we should have done this sooner. Oh, well. Um, I think she was going to Skelga, right? Maybe we can find her over there. I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, time to visit Ravi. Natalis card. Only one missing now. High time we saw Ravi. Go. I should contact the buyer. Agree on a place to make the transaction. See you, Geralt. Take care, my friend. All right. Oh, we gotta save this. This is a witch. This is a quest that's bugging me out. Anyways, as we ride on over to the other one, I will pick up where I left off. So the patch 1.07 is coming out for this game, um, and it's gonna be good news because, you know, like I said earlier, we did crash out of this quest once before, and um, that patch is supposed to fix a lot of issues. So that would be really, really good to hear um, if, you know, that thing came out relatively soon. I would like it sooner rather than later. There's also uh, some rumors about how it's going to let you store things, which I would actually like right about now. Uh, after picking up that um, that ornate dagger, it, it seems like, you know, something that you would kind of want to keep around. Trophy-ish, you know? Uh, so let's... Let's see what we... Are we going back here? No. There's no... No nothing in there. This is all also where we have to go for uh, Skellige. I don't know if we'll... Why do I... Okay. Wrong way all around. Ain't no one gonna get hurt by running around the back. Uh, but yeah, so I think maybe within the next few episodes we'll probably head our way on over there. I just gotta make sure I can wrap up some of these, uh, this Gwent stuff. Uh, actually, this guy right here, Captain Wolverstone, he's going to be taking us across. Interesting man. Interesting man. Um, I bet you do. I hope this means go down. Yeah, it did. Awesome. Ooh, looks like some thugs over here. How about that? It's the flea-ridden mutant. Oh, hey. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Oh, I believe he Look does. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? <laughs> sure he'd be happy <laughs> if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi here was just about to play for his life and... Uh, Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. I As believe it, it is, right? That's all your just are. kidding. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! 
It does sound good. See, Rabbit's on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis car. Ooh. Fancy that? Well, we're a nice guy. Um, and this guy's a douche. I think we're gonna kill him either way. But uh, yeah, let's let's play. We'll see what happens. It's only fitting. Agreed. <laughs> I'm here. I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play. Let's play. Oh, I'm gonna be a lot of fun. You're about to see. All right, guys. Here we are. We're doing another round of Gwent. Ooh. Uh, you know, in all honesty, I, I feel like sometimes this is why I play this game. Um. This, this is just so badass. Um. So let's see here. We have this guy in the four, but meh. Uh, nothing too crazy there. Let's uh, see. Dandelion would be good. It's like having another commander's horn, but I don't really see fitting him in um, at this point. We have such a good lineup. I'm not really worried about it. Uh, we're just going to go with the Northern Realms, and we are going to do it to it. Oh, good. He's Nilfgaard. He ain't going to stand no chance. Okay right here this is great i love this combo uh it's much much better than the uh the blue commando one yennefer is great you always love to have that um medic basically what it's going to allow us to do is mess around in that first round we can always come back in the second uh destroy your enemy's strongest close combat units if that whole row's combined strength is 10 or more and if you've seen any of the gwent you'll know that the nilf guardians tend to be pretty heavy hitters and uh Getting 10 or more is not going to be hard to uh, to have. Uh, catapult is good to have. It would be nice to have another one. Uh, the clear weather might be nice. Uh, we're going to re-roll for the, uh, the decoy. Okay, we don't need this card at all. So uh, we're going to keep the clear weather. That was my second choice to get rid of if we got what we wanted here. But uh, let's see what we get. Oh, we got the... Ah. Okay. Well, this is basically going to be our card to kind of like decoy out. Unless he places down a spy or something like that. But the spies that these guys have are pretty, pretty good. So uh, we won't worry about it too much. What are you going to do, buddy? Yep. Thank you. I will take the win. It's so easy to just fake them out like that. I, I almost feel like it's cheating. Almost. Oh, yes, and we got the commander's horn. This is going to be awesome. All right, we'll play him down. Now, we want to try and keep things uh, relatively calm because uh, there's that possibility that he could have a scorch, and that would not bode very well for us. I do want to wait until he puts another guy down here uh, to give him 10 in that front row. So this is going to be worth it. Uh, so we're just going to kind of skirt around the point here. Uh, that's going to be six anyway. So we might as well pull this down. And uh, we will obviously bring back the only thing we have that we can. OK. Working our way there. He's got eight up front. Now we'll place the six all the way back there. The smart thing to do in a second is going to be uh, placing down our catapult. So what this is basically going to do is help us out, right? Um, if he does lay down the Scorch at any point, this is going to be the card that's going to take it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just use the uh, clear weather card because it's basically going to make him lay down another card. I mean, we still technically waste a card, but so I don't have to put down any more units. All right, and then we're going to do the commander's horn on this uh, back row. Um, well, OK, here's the issue that I have. If we were to put it down on this first row, right, it would raise this guy to 10, and he would be gone if he lays down a Scorch. Uh, now here, if these guys all survive to the very end and he doesn't have a Scorch, 
then I basically want to maximize my points a little bit more because doubling these guys' strength is going to be better than doubling. Oh no, these are going to be end up be forty, uh, and this is going to be twelve, eighteen, twenty. So it's forty either way. Um, so basically. If he doesn't have a Scorch, we don't really lose much of anything. If he does have a Scorch, we would really lose our, our hardest hitting combo there. So I'm going to place it down in the back. All right, there we go. Uh, so now we have 10 sitting in the front. Um, destroy your enemy's str uh, strongest close combat unit or units. If the combined strength of all his is ten or more, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play him, and he's gonna go. Alrighty, so uh, I think this is pretty good, unless he's got something crazy. And we're still okay. I was worried about that. Um, I was thinking it would be nice to uh, be able to... Oh, wait. Can we? Oh, cool. Nice. I didn't realize that we still had that uh, ability. I guess we didn't have to pass since there was something that we could do. Yeah, he's got to pass. We win. Okay. Awesome. Oh, whatever. Now it works for me. Uh, as you can see, very, very easy win there. Uh, nothing we really had to worry about at all, was there? Get this damn card. Yes. They're probably gonna kill you anyway. And sit still or you hurt yourself. But but he won! Yeah, I didn't think they were gonna let him go. So now we'll play something else. Yeah, like you're gonna die. Yeah, you want to keep going, buddy? Thanks. Don't know how I'll repay you. Oh, I know. The tallest card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. Nope, I want that one. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course. Here. Thanks, buddy. Your life is worth much more than whatever the heck you paid for it. Alright. Well, we can go find our uh, buddy, Zoltan, and uh, see what we can do about this. Because um, there is something that we would like for this more so than the money that it might bring. What's up, buddy? I like how the uh, come on, Roach, you can do it. I like how the henchmen kind of resemble um, the person that uh, that runs their their crew. Come on, Roach, don't don't walk away from me. Come on. Um, for instance, Sigurd Rubin's guys are all pretty big and burly. Um, the Horse and Junior's guys are all kind of weird and twisted. He looked like a clown, and they're all dressed as clowns. Um, King of Beggars, he's kind of a some shady individual and his guys look right here they all kind of look shady Let's go. um then oh yeah cleaver he's a dwarf and all his guys are dwarf we'll be back we will be back i don't think these are timed by any means oh man all i can think about is retaining these cards in any way possible. It would be the nicest thing to happen to me, ever. Oh, it's looking kind of calm over here. Where's all, why are all the lights off? Oh, there they go. Now they're on. Zoltan. Alright, buddy. I got these cards. Got the cards, Zoltan. Ha! Seems we'll make it. Before the King of Beggars buggers can get me. Aw, oh, yeah. I arranged to meet the buyer at an old brewery. 
He'll be delighted to see we've got all the cards. I bet he would be. Wait, don't, don't make, the don't exchange. force me to give them away. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind. Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, oh. is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much Just about in case we screw up or it crashes, so right? Don't have to do all that crap over again. You know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. As long as they pay. Yep. That's the important part. Oh, I can't wait to get the King of Beggars out of my beer. Mm, neither can I. Maybe. Alright, we're going to knock on this. Okay, you're just going to barge right on in. Now let's see. Uh, ah, oh. at last. I fear the body is gone cold. What is this? Your would be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. Ain't gonna happen, buddy. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome. Try it and find out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. You're not gonna Do get him alive. Get out. Bastards get away with my coin. Damn it. With our coin. Chase the horse in. I'll tend to the others. Mm, okay. Stop walking into his soul. Chasing. Chasing. Plodded off that way. Awful not to do out. What? I can't understand a word. Yep. You're gonna have to pay for what you're doing, my friend. Oh! Yeah, that's the only bad part of, about that. Up, oh, up. Oh. We gotta go up. Yeah, I have shift and alt as my run keys and, and whatnot. Shit, did I lose him? Oh, he's down. He's down. Come on. Come on. Oh, we just about had him. I want to uh, have Ard. That's going to be the most useful for me. Ah, come on. Oh my god, how many sets of stairs are there? Or ladders? Fine. We'll do coin for a bit. Oh, I'm gonna get you, buddy. You can't. You're level four. Okay. Learn your place. Hard. Should have skipped hard. Hey. How's it going, guys? What's up? Leave me, uh, swiving drowners. Well, you ran down here, man. He's a witcher. Ha ha! I <laughs> if if I give you the coin, will you leave me be? Uh. Hmm. This isn't a. Important decision. What? What is the... What is the right choice here? Yeah? Yeah. 
You can go, if you're able. Ha! Huh. What are my chances with these wounds? Not really I. good. So long. Hopefully we don't. Oh, you get them? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? No, I let him go. Oh, I knew I should have gone with you. <laughs> you know he has it in for me. He'll be doubly determined now. Doubt it. Yeah, I don't think, think he's so. likely to quit the business. If he gets out of there alive. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I oh, good. Without you, so you so glad we didn't have to choose for him back there. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Uh, that is super easy. You saw how much money we have, but you're not going to find these cards anywhere else. I'm going to take the cards. Kind of curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent. I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Sultan. Do it. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Ponta. Indeed. Indeed. Alrighty, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that episode. I know I sure did. And I am super duper, duper pooper happy that we got to keep those damn cards. Look at that. Fring de la Vigo. John Natalis. Third one. This and Grim Tarana. See? Fantastic, fantastic cards. Might as well give you guys a sneak peek, right? Jeez. Uh, Gwent Decky. John Natalis. He is a 10 morale close combat unit, so that is awesome. Uh, I'm guessing there's a Squatel in here. Aha, the Is and Grim. Ooh, there we go. He's a ten, and uh, this isn't the this isn't the medic. He is going to boost anybody in his row. I don't think monsters is going to have anything. Yeah, monsters is really really uh, underserved until you get into Skellige and uh, the Nilfgaardian Empire. Ah, we got Fringela. So nothing super special, uh, but definitely a good card. Uh, the Nilfgaardians they have. Look at these heavy hitters that they got. You know, you know. Look at, look at all these guys. Uh, but the problem really comes in the fact that you have a lot of really low-level, more or less useless uh, cards. So if you don't get lucky and pull out your big hitters, um, you're you're gonna be hurting for certain. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Witcher. Uh, have a good day, good night, whatever it is to you, and I will see you back here next time for more of the Witcher Wild Hunt. Goodbye!